Hi, this is Brent from TradeGuild.blogspot.com and we're going to do a quick video on the market indexes, the major averages and we're going to start with the Dow which was up 52.66 points today uh, a little follow through from yesterday's nice move and uh, again today we saw uh, light volume really I think, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we had some more some more short covering today um, but the buyers are not really kicking in in mass. They're uh, hesitant, they're tentative, they're on the sidelines, and uh, thus we see this kind of low volume. But um, the Dow did break. It's 50-day moving average today. And um, why I have you on the screen, I just want to show you uh, time-segmented volume, uh, tracking accumulation and distribution is this red line in the bottom window. And there we see uh, this is still below the zero line, which is right here in the middle. So there's not uh, a real strong undercurrent of buying that's present there yet. You can see back here, uh, you know, February, March, and April when this rally was still kicking, TSV was well above the zero line. Um, let's take a look at another screen here. And uh, what I'm going to show you is an hourly chart. Here we go. And what we see here uh, is that we had a break through last week's highs, which is notable. And uh, that's something that a few of the other averages didn't do. Um, <clears throat> also, we can see our next resistance level here is coming up uh, on uh, from 7-11, July uh, 11th. And that level is about 11-153. Uh, in that neighborhood so you know it's possible that we see a pullback here to um, 11 and 52 maybe 11,052 um, and we'll see what happens after that if we get a break below uh, 11,000 over here I think this rally is probably done but uh, so far it's holding up there next we're going to take a look at the uh, S&P And here we have the S&P, which has not only managed to cross above the 50-day moving average here in yellow and the 200 here in blue, but it has also crossed above this trend line, this downtrend line. So uh, both the Dow and the S&P are looking better than their tech counterparts. Uh, I think that's probably largely due to uh, a defensive posture uh, in buyers are taking uh, kind of foregoing tech for the moment. Uh, not to say that tech didn't rally, but it, it's certainly not keeping up here. While we're looking at this, we also see uh, TSV is still uh, down below the zero line in the S&P and volume considerably uh, lighter than what you'd expect for a rally of this nature. Um, I'll show you another screen here. And here again, we see that break of the trend line. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a one hour chart up oh, my wheels a little and there's that break of that trend line also the break over last week's highs which is significant um, and our next resistance again is coming up over here uh, let me pull up my pointer there you go you can see we're kind of bumping into it now and that's about uh, the 11th of July also next up I am going to show you the Nasdaq Pull that. And what do we have in the NASDAQ? Uh, you can see we are a long way away from uh, breaking through the 50 day moving average right up here in the 200 over here. So tech is definitely underperforming, and I'm going to show you that a little bit clearer in a moment. Uh, again, volume over here is not so great, uh, just kind of average. And uh, Again, TSV is below that zero line right over here. So uh, we don't see the uh, systematic accumulation, uh, which probably you know, lends credence to the theory that uh, there's a lot of short covering going on over here. Uh, I'm going to show you um, an hourly chart here. Let's pull it up. And uh, you can see, again, underscoring that weakness in tech, we didn't see the uh, breakout above last week's highs over here 
like we did with the Dow and like we did with the S&P 500. And if I can just zoom in a little bit tighter, we can see this, uh, what, what's called a falling window over here in candlestick vernacular, basically a gap. And the top of that window, which is right there, and here's the bottom of it, is going to act as resistance. You can see last week uh, acted as resistance. And should this uh, price continue up in the next day or two or whatever, uh, we should expect to see some resistance there as well. Um, another thing I want to show you here is uh, the S&P. Let's see, we're just going to compare this to the S&P. Pull up something here, comparison symbol, SP500. And I'm going to put that in red so it's a little easier to see. And there we go. We can see, again, the NASDAQ is just really underperforming the S&P, which is in red here. So... Uh, I think that's all I want to show you there on that. Uh, one, one other thing real quick. I have one other thing I want to show you. The 20-day moving average also. Uh, you can see the 10 hasn't crossed above that 20, and the 20 is coming into play around 2100. So we're going to expect more resistance there. So, you know, I'm not sure how much further the uh, the NASDAQ is going gonna, is gonna to travel, but... I think it's really important that any uh, viable rally has leadership in the tech industry, which we are not seeing here. So I, I tend to believe that this is not going to be long lasted again, but uh, we got to let the market tell us that. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you a couple of stocks. Um, let's see, I want to show you SLXA, which is Solexa Inc. And I've been talking about this one for a while, saying um, basically it's a big uh, symmetrical triangle you can see it here I'm just kind of zooming out uh, back here is uh, 06 January and February over here so you can see this is a huge triangle and we've been watching this develop and I've mentioned it many times and uh, I've said you know it's a longer term position and we expect a breakout and today actually we got the beginning of that move so I'm going to zoom in and there you can see it we're up about four point uh, about four and a half percent the only thing that was a little lacking was the volume and I've got to be honest with you I've never seen uh, a triangle this big break out so I don't know you know should there be intense volume and a sharp move uh, is it going to take a little longer and be a little more drawn out I tend to, tend to think maybe that is the case maybe it's going to be a little longer and more drawn out but let's look for some confirmation tomorrow on that one, uh, very happy for anybody who got into it. I uh, was being cute and I thought I had a little more time because you can see we expected a breakout at this apex and we're pretty much you know, at the apex there. Not very good drawing on my part, but uh, it worked as it should. One last symbol I want to show you and uh, just for a concept here is Amazon dot com which you know we'd been saying we liked it we thought it was forming a base and uh, recommended some buying I know some of you had moved out of it in this recent weakness and uh, you know we're in earnings season some people don't like trading stocks during you know earnings season they move to ETFs which is not a bad idea uh, but it's very difficult to trade in earnings because you don't know what's you know just around the corner so anyway Amazon uh, reported tonight and it wasn't good and the stock is down in after hours and it's going to get hit tomorrow but uh like i always say the most two uh, the two most important indicators are volume and price action and what we saw today was a warning and if you were paying attention to the volume today volume precedes price that's a big day of volume uh, i mean it's bigger than anything we've seen in quite a while and this was your warning you could have been out today uh, by the close before earnings came out. You should have been out today by the close before earnings came out. And real quickly, if we just look at a uh, intraday chart, here's five minute, here's a one minute chart. I mean, look at that sell off towards the end of the day. I mean, the last 15 minutes on huge volume. This was your warning signal. Something was going on with Amazon. Um, that's going to be it for tonight. And uh, watch out. We got more earnings tomorrow. And uh, best of luck. And don't forget to check out the tag board. Thanks a lot. Good night.